Welcome to the Honors Programs at Stony Brook University, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Amanda Mills, Assistant Director of Admissions. I've worked in college admissions since 1998 and at Stony Brook since 2004. Today's presentation should act as a supplement to your research into the Honors Programs. I will provide an overview, and those of you who are interested should take a deep dive into the Honors website and review each program's features, benefits, and criteria. Stony Brook is an excellent choice for your undergraduate education. For information about the Stony Brook application process and admission requirements, please attend one of our Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday virtual information sessions, which also discuss our majors, student life, campus housing, and student support services. Sign up on the visit page of our website. Part of the college application process should be evaluating your interests to help you make decisions. For the past 20 years, I've been counseling students about how to figure out what they want. My invitation to you is simple. Spend some time, maybe next weekend or on your next day off, answering some questions for yourself. Why do you want to be part of an honors program in college? What are some of the reasons? Is this a decision you're making on your own? Is it a good choice for you? Am I willing to do the work? What am I going looking to gain from this experience in college? If your answers have more to do with other people or if you struggle to come up with a list of reasons, then remember that it's okay not to be in a college honors program. College is challenging and will ask a lot of you, even if you're not in a specialized program, and that's okay. There are a number of features and benefits that many honors programs share. Honors programs can have smaller classes, advanced course registration, dedicated advisors, and fun trips and activities. There are also some common misconceptions. For example, that all of my classes will be in the honors program, or that you won't have easy access to resources if you're not part of honors. At Stony Brook, all of our students take four classes with their first year with 19 to 22 other students. All of our students have first year advisors as well as faculty advisors in their major. And in most cases, your major classes will be with students outside of your honors program. Admission to Stony Brook's honors programs are competitive and based on the high school academic record, strength of curriculum, honors and awards earned, extracurricular achievements, leadership skills, unique individual talents, and life experiences that make students a good fit. Successful applicants have historically had a 95 to 99 high school grade point average, 1310 to 1450 SAT scores, or 29 to 34 ACT composite scores. And for fall 2022 applicants, test scores are optional for WISE, Honors College, University Scholars, and Computer Science Honors Consideration. Please note that first year students will be notified of admission to the university before they are reviewed for honors consideration. University scholars generally represent the top 7% of the incoming freshman class at Stony Brook based upon high school GPA and test scores. There are approximately 250 scholars admitted each fall and admission to the program is competitive. The U Scholars academic profile for the class of 2020 was a 96.6 grade point average and a 1450 SAT score. The mission of University Scholars is to provide a vibrant and intellectually stimulating community for high achieving students in order to assist them in getting the most out of their Stony Brook experience. The program actively encourages and promotes academic excellence, provides opportunities for leadership, professional development, undergraduate research, as well as outreach activities. You scholars receive several benefits, including personalized academic advising over the course of their time at Stony Brook, the opportunity to attend special receptions, workshops, and trips hosted by the program, and priority course registration within their academic year. Check out the U Scholars website for student testimonials, their newsletter, and event information. The Honors College Class of 2025 represents 47 different majors. This year, the admit rate was 
and the Honors College received 9,168 applications and enrolled a class of 108 students. Here you will find small interdisciplinary seminars which will help students to develop critical and analytical skills. Honors will ask students to think about the world in new ways. The Honors College engages students in an innovative seminar-based curriculum modeled on the best traditions of university education and integrated into the research and creative enterprises at Stony Brook. These seminars are only open to Honors College students and average in size around 20. The Honors College has a big siblings program for all new students, annual events like the faculty roundtables, homecoming BBQ, New York City trips, and a senior banquet. There's a student advisory board as well as a senior symposium, which takes place each May prior to graduation and showcases the exceptional research of each graduating Honors College student. WISE seeks to increase the number of individuals from various underrepresented groups in science, math, and engineering fields. Combining the vast resources of a major university with the close bonds of a small community, the WISE College program enables undergraduates to work closely with peers and faculty to form friendships and achieve a solid background in their field. Some examples of WISE coursework include opportunities in STEM and Beyond, which is a seminar style course composed of discussions and explorations of the various science, technology, engineering, and mathematics disciplines, possible career paths, and STEM's worldwide relevance. Other courses are research and discover in STEM, women's leadership in STEM, and the WISE honors program thesis. 55 to 60 students are enrolled in WISE each year. WISE combines the vast resources of a major university with the close bonds and support of a small community of like-minded students and faculty. Scholars for Medicine. Stony Brook offers an integrated eight-year program for students interested in attending medical school following their undergraduate degree. This early assurance program is not accelerated and will hold a seat in the Renaissance School of Medicine. The program accepts two to 10 students each year and is highly competitive. The program will require an interview for admission, typically in March. Successful applicants to the program, the middle 50th percentile ranges, have historically had a 98 to 99 high school grade point average, a 1490 to 1590 SAT composite score, or a 35 to 36 ACT score. Candidates must also have documentation of U.S. citizenship or permanent residency in the United States. This year, the SAT or ACT is required for the program. To remain in the program, you must maintain a minimum 3.2 science GPA and a 3.4 cumulative GPA and successfully complete the MCAT. The minimum score will be determined by the School of Medicine Committee on Admissions. Students can pursue any undergraduate major at Stony Brook and benefit from advising within the Honors College during their first four years. Scholars for Dental Medicine is Stony Brook's integrated eight-year program for students interested in attending dental school following their undergraduate degree. Students participate in pre-dental school classes and activities and have a reserved seat in our School of Dental Medicine. Students will complete the DAT as well as at least 100 hours of shadowing or observation in a dental setting. Participation in research and community service is a requirement to remain in the program. Dental medicine scholars must successfully complete their honors college program of study, complete all required pre-dental courses, maintain a minimum 3.5 overall GPA and 3.4 science GPA. There is no preferred major for this program, and this year they will require the SAT or ACT for admission. The School of Nursing Honors Program offers a select number of students early assurance of a seat in the BS in Nursing Program upon successful completion of core requirements and foundation courses. In past years, there have been between three and 16 students accepted. During freshman and sophomore year, nursing scholars will, will participate in lower division nursing seminars, 
School of Nursing and, and School of Nursing activities, and will develop re relationships with faculty mentors and advisors. Stony Brook nursing students enjoy all the advantages of being part of an academic medical center. Clinical experiences are highlighted at Stony Brook University Medical Center, which is a dynamic 560 bed tertiary care hospital that is the only level one trauma center in the area. All of the students from the university's Health Sciences Center, Medicine, Dentistry, Social Welfare, and Health Technology and Management interact closely, playing a major role in shaping your future as a practitioner. These learning partnerships are what give Stony Brook nurses the pet competitive edge upon graduation. Stony Brook is ranked number 27 by csrankings.org, which evaluates top computer science schools and is designed to identify institutions and faculty actively engaged in research. Stony Brook's computer science honors program is small and focuses on enhancing the undergraduate experience for highly motivated and talented students. This program is by invitation only. This means that there is no separate application. By applying to our computer science major, you will automatically be considered for computer science honors after you're offered admission. This small group of five to 20 students each year attend some special limited enrollment classes, receive personalized academic sessions, advising sessions, get priority registration for computer science courses, enjoy a sense of community and fun social events with other honor students and faculty and take advanced special topics courses. An honors program can be specific to your major. Some students who enroll in one of our honors programs will also pursue departmental honors, while some students prefer to focus their honors experience solely on their academic interest. There are a wide range of options for departmental honors. Some of these include anthropology, atmospheric sciences, biology, biomedical engineering, business, chemistry, economics, English, environmental studies, French, history, marine science, math, philosophy, physics, political science, psychology, and more. Sea wolves are always searching for more than the simple answer. If your interests focus on research, looking for smarter solutions to the big issues, pushing boundaries, asking important questions, seeking greater understanding, and preparing for graduate school, an honors program in your major might be the right choice for you. Once you're a Stony Brook student, you will be able to work with your department advisor to get on track to apply to a department's honors program. What is the process to apply? While the application timeline is the same for honors and regular admission, our strong suggestion is not to view January 15th as a due date, but rather as the last day you can submit an application and still be considered. For the savvy applicant, applying 45 to 60 days ahead of the deadline is encouraged. After you apply, if you have indicated an interest in an honors program, we will contact you about what comes next. You can also find details about what essays and additional requirements there are for Stony Brook honors admission by carefully reviewing the apply portion of our website. Keep in mind that you were among 39,000 applicants all submitting documents that have to be matched by our processing team. While items arrive electronically, there is still a human doing the matching of these electronic documents to your application. I know I speak for all colleges and universities when I say that we truly appreciate an early complete application. It can take several weeks for test scores, transcripts, letters of recommendation, and other items to make it onto your checklist. For your peace of mind, submit the application and supplemental items as early as you can. How can I stand out? Your academic history, what you've taken from freshman year through senior year, and your academic accomplishments are the biggest factors in the admissions decision. In addition to the overall GPA, we look at each applicant's curriculum level, honors, advanced courses, college level courses, and if these classes are appropriate to your academic ability. 
After we assess the academic record, our holistic review process uses a combination of academic attributes, engagement in co-curricular activities, self-expression as communicated through essays and personal statements, as well as references from those who can speak to a student's unique characteristics and persistence in order to review a student for admission. As we shape our class, we seek to enroll those who will thrive in our competitive academic environment, but also those who will flourish within the diverse and dynamic community that is at the heart of our campus and our honors programs. Outside of academics and other application materials, we look for students who want to push forward, change the world, help others, and bring their knowledge to the forefront of exploration and innovation. So make sure your essay informs the reader about anything and everything you have done inside and outside of school in the past few years to grow as a scholar and a human. Honors programs succeed at creating the social and academic atmosphere of a small liberal arts college within the heart of a large public research university and help students to graduate equipped for ongoing personal and intellectual growth and well qualified for success in a full range of careers. Please note our contact information. You are all always welcome to contact us with additional questions during the application process. Good luck with your applications and have a wonderful senior year.